Now, I would like to introduce our first lecturer or guest in our stage. This is an inspiring person with, uh, who will try in 10 minutes to stitch together the entrepreneurship puzzle in Bulgaria and give you a glimpse of hope. Please welcome on stage Iskren Kristev, board member of Global Entrepreneurship Monitor Bulgaria. Welcome. <laughs> Good morning. Um, you've heard the term ecosystem. What do you imagine when you hear an ecosystem? Do you imagine startups or scale-ups? I'll give you a story. It's a northern country many years ago, about 20 years ago. And there's this guy who really, really liked riding bicycles. What he wanted to do is inspire people to start riding their bicycles rather than driving their cars. And the way he started doing that is by giving the good examples. So, the first thing he, he had to change was the culture. He started building an ecosystem. What he did, he, he started with a TV advert where several guys are already on the top of a mountain with their bikes, and they're still expecting the third person to arrive. So, they gave him a call using their Nokia phones. The guy answered the phone and he said, I'm really sorry guys, I'm just rush rushing out of work. So you can see clearly in, in this advert that he's coming out of a 50-store building where he actually works and he runs the whole thing. So, everybody started believing that this is what a successful person does after work. They get on their bicycle and they drive to the mountain. A very good example. What else did this create though? Many, many companies started producing bicycle tires. The ramps and everything else for the bicycles. A lot of apparel companies started to emerge. A lot of family businesses started to produce really nice shoes for, for bicycle riders. What else happened though? On a policy level, can you imagine what happened there? The government had to build the infrastructure which is suitable for those bikes. So they started. Now you're thinking about the market. Now you're thinking about the finances and how, how, how did, does this how, how does everything stitch together? Well, imagine you're an insurance company. Suddenly you have a brand new insurance product. You can insure all those bicycle riders. Or imagine you're a bank and you really, really want to fund guys that really want to buy bicycles. What do you do with the economy itself? It's growing. And this whole thing happened out of a single idea. But the ecosystem is not the single idea. It's all the elements that are stitched together and work in a collaborative manner. I'd like to play a video which will explain why I introduced the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor to Bulgaria. I really, really want all these interconnecting elements to be... Um, valued properly, so we can build upon them a sustainable ecosystem.
what would you say the ecosystem in Bulgaria looks like? Do you, do you think it's diverse? Do you think it has everything it needs? It certainly has a lot of inspiration. It certainly has a lot of good examples. Those are the people that you really want to follow or admire or look, look like. And uh, what we have to do now is encourage the policymakers to make the right decisions to support entrepreneurship. Can we play the presentation? Just a couple of slides. As you probably saw, Jim uh, is the largest ongoing survey on the planet on entrepreneurship dynamics. Um, you can all participate, and um, I'll be happy to have a chat with you later. Um, the, the, the framework conditions that we actually analyze are in front of you. All these things are necessities so you can have a successful and growing entrepreneurship ecosystem. Have a lovely time. Adventure is enjoy uh, please enjoy adventure. Thank you. Bye.